I'm now going to explain this particular code, which is a very simple program. It receives the age of the customer and say uh, the print, uh, I mean the principal amount term is already predefined here. So for a, for a principal amount of 10,000 and a term of two years, and a maturity amount is calculated here. It is always principal amount plus PNR by 100. So with this formula, we are calculating the maturity amount and printing it here in the immediate window. Now, what we are going to do here is here, we just have a simple if condition. In case, uh, what I have as I already explained was, in case the age is less than, the customer's age is less than 60, then the bank offers a rate of interest of 6% and if not, that is else condition, it offers 8% of rate of interest, rate of interest of 8%. So now I, this program will go on smooth. Uh, my cursor is inside this procedure. The procedure, the name of the procedure is error explained, and I am not uh, using the second procedure here. I am just keeping that idle only. This is being explained here. So when I run this, uh, don't worry about the background that has no connection with this program. I am just marking the age of the customer as 78. So here, 11,600 is the maturity amount that is calculated and printed here and obviously if I uh, in, input a number less than if I input a number less than 60 it's going to calculate 6 as the rate of interest and it's going to accept 6 as the rate of interest and publish the maturity amount as 11,200. What if I'm going to use this ROI here? And I just have a single condition. Let's say we'll remove this. Just a different scenario. Let's assume this. What will happen? We'll throw an error. So this is the error we are talking about. The video is about this error. How to handle this? See, in general, after this then statement, there should be nothing here. Only then you can have an if and if. If I uh, have my code here. My, I just have a single line of code which I am putting here. If I place a code here as if in this line, then this end if is not required. This also can be removed or commented out. Now, now you see that there was no compile time error. So what we understand is end if always needs to have an if condition where there is no statement after then so again, I'll put it back here. Now we'll see another scenario wherein uh, we have females, female senior citizens are more than or equal to 58 years of age and males are 60 years and above. I mean, male senior citizens are 60 years and above. So now let's see the gender. Uh, I'll say STRG and I'm going to get the input box of sorry enter the gender of the customer now I'll enter the gender and so here I'll add another condition so ROI is 6% but if strgen is equal to female and customer age is greater than or equal to 58. So already we have one condition should be less than 60. So here it covers greater than 57. So 58 in 59, 58, 59 and 60 are covered here in this condition. Obviously, this if statement is looking for a then statement, then ROI should be 8 only. It may be a roundabout way, but I am just going to explain the error here. So, for that, I am just creating a scenario that you can understand. This will not cause any error because it has a proper if and end if. All the if statements are closed properly here. Now, in case, okay, let me anyway run it and show you. Uh, 
called let me say 78 and uh, gender is female so the scenario is anyway covered and it gives me a maturity amount of 11600 again roi has been considered as 8 so if this would have come here it wouldn't have even checked the gender however in case i comment out this line or i use my roi here and what will happen is this if statement will be considered as a standalone line. So it started here and it is over here. This end if is not required for this if as I told you earlier. So what will happen is this end if will be uh, considered as a completion of this if statement and this will stand without an if condition. So where is the if statement for this else end if? Now I'll tell you that we will get the error as else if without an if condition. Else without if the same way if we don't have these two here in this area then it will be end if without so from this we can understand clearly that any end if statement needs to have a corresponding if statement without which we will face the error that end if without block if so we have will replace the line here in this uh, line number and we'll move on to the next example next example is also going to explain the same thing we have nested if statement here this sub trial is a sub procedure i'm talking about here if apple is sweet then again we have if mango is sweet then we are going to print that sweets are i mean fruits are sweet and now I have given values to both the variables. That is, apple variable has a value of sweet. Mango variable also has a value of sweet. Now, the control will come in. It will check if the apple is sweet. Then it will check if the mango is sweet. And then it will print the statement. Fruits are sweet. Now, what if I place this particular statement here itself? It will give me the error that end if is found without a block if which end if it is about this end if and not the earlier one because this end if will be considered as the end of this if block and this will stand alone without a starting if statement so the error will be about this particular line and obviously it will be a file time error so you got it friends it's about this line so what is the solution we either need to remove this end if or we can have this after the then keyword. I mean the next line. This can only resolve the error. Basically, there shouldn't be an empty end if. I mean without an if statement or an else statement, there just can't be a blank end if in your program. You need to match them with the respective or corresponding if statements. This can help you resolve the error. Thank you.